Hey y'all, welcome back to Amped 3. I'm Insetic, and with me on these videos, we've got a crew. We've got Blank Tester. Hey kids, how's it going? Matt Rocks 101. Hey, I'm Matt. And Turo. Back in the saddle. We'll be heading to Valle Nevada with these very, like, partitioned sideburns. Just Seven far ten. just fuck my shit up. <laughs> yeah. Seven I think I got those title. in middle school one time. <laughs> oh. Yeah. As for zebra stripes, it did not work. Yeah, so again, heading to Valle Nevada now, getting down to Chile to confront the crew, because something strange is afoot. But oh, what do you eat while playing Amp 3? I Mostly salt. Shit. Yeah, me Dirt. Too. <laughs> Worms. <laughs> Um, yeah. God, what was that Hanna-Barbera character that was a talking shark? Oh, I know was, who you're talking about. Oh, no, yeah! I was thinking uh, of was like stupid about. shark. Or that or that was Shitty shark. shark. Or His name <laughs> or was Schmuck Shark. Schmuck and Shark. Serendipity the dumb shark. Schmuck. Yeah, yeah. Stupid um, asshole. <laughs> so, yeah. Piece stupid shit, asshole shark. shark. If anyone wants to, you could pull up the real Valle Nevado trail map as well and... You know, it's kind of cool as well, like, this drop point, Andes Express, that is one of the main lifts at hmm. the actual Valle Nevada. Oh, yeah. By the way, his name was Jabberjaw. Jabber. Oh. I looked it up. Hola, como manzana? <laughs> That's like saying, how's it going, eh? So thanks for coming down. I guess you're like a professional photographer, eh? Beauty, we could use some help. See, we're tracking this. Abominable snowman. This here is the only photo we got of him so far. It's kind of blurry. But this morning, there was a report of an attack. Look, someone hit us! No, I'm not here all along. So, lots of people have been coming here to Valley, Nevada, and then, like, vanishing without a trace. Could be the abominable snowman. So, here's where you come in, eh? Get some beauty pictures of him, and then we can send the wilderness management team in to, like, bag him, eh? And maybe we'll find all those missing snowboarders. Yeah, so, good luck, and, uh, <laughs> don't get eaten. Wow. I can't believe I they got love, like Syphil and Ollie I in here. That's fucking character. nuts. Yeah. I feel like we've seen Syphil and Ollie in another sports game too, but someone in the comments can tell me if I'm wrong. Apparently that's a reference, yeah. Or yeah. they got the guys from something to do a thing. Do yeah. a things. Yeah. Uh, is that the only time these guys show up? They don't show up again? I mean, I haven't no, seen them before. This is a recurring character. I don't know oh, if yeah. that's too big of a spoiler or not. Yeah, in it's a big spoiler. Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah, you spoil the entire yeah, they, game. Yeah, I mean they. Yeah, they kind of stick with an aesthetic or like a, yeah. like a, a goof running throughout each peak or whatever. That's what it seems yeah. like. You know, yeah. I gotta say this is the first time I'm seeing Amp Three. I know I'm I'm not caught up. Uh, this is a drastic departure. <laughs> oh yes, it is. <laughs> From yeah. Amp Two, yes, as far is. as like art style wise. Oh yeah, this yeah, is like yeah. some SSX shit right here. <laughs> it's trying to be yeah. Is that the? Uh, the abominable snowman? Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. the abominable snowman. Not the abominable. Yeah, this one's abominable. This yeah. one's pretty nice, actually. Yeah, he's pretty Yeah, this one's like bombing. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> he's oh. Bombing. And now you know the rest of the story. <laughs> Alright, I want to see if you make this jump. Easy. Uh, Easy I... for insetting. <laughs> wow. I have <laughs> failed that sometimes before, so it's not a The hitbox is on those peaks. <laughs> So you got the pictures, eh? Beauty! I'm gonna be rich. I should buy the province of Quebec. Okay, boys, let's go get them. I'm innocent! I'm innocent! I've been framed! You gonna fry, snowman! <laughs> move along, move along! Okay, so the Yeti? Turns out he was a guy in a suit. What the crap? 
But don't tell anyone, eh? You know, your friends might have gone to see that shrine of the Senora de los Santitos. Out there in the backcountry, eh? Pretty famous. Lots of people go there and get their pictures taken. With your camera, you could get as rich as me. Uh, and we're cool with the Yeti thing, right? <laughs> well, it's fucking it wild. is. I gotta say, it is. It, I mean, it really took a weight off my shoulders knowing that Yeti was actually a dude in a costume. I was scared. Oh, yeah, true. I'm, yeah, why he no, was I thought, why were you I thought we were in danger. I thought maybe if you couldn't trick a uh, trick hard I mean, enough. Normally, right. normally I would ask to stop the recording because I did piss myself. But <laughs> instead, it has a rule: if you piss on tape, uh huh, we keep it. Yeah, and also you have to you have to mention it. Yeah, we it's sort of like when you lose the game, you yeah. have to tell oh, the nearest man. person. It's been a while since, you know, the Insetic Crew's Top 10 Pisses video. I'm real glad we're finally getting more so I can make a sequel. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now you've got a top 11. This is right. number 11. Right. Hey, guys. So we haven't actually pissed 10 more times yet. So this is a top 11 instead. Kind it's going to be the rehash. previous 10, but with the new one sprinkled in there somewhere. Yeah, it's an update. Ha <laughs> ha. <laughs> sprinkled. An update. See what I did there. Oh, God. <laughs> sprinkled. <laughs> See what Anyway, like and subscribe. Yeah, what, yeah, smash! Come on, Bell Gang. Yeah. Is this is this oh, cap God. or crap? Come on, let me know. <laughs> is this crap or cap? Uh, cap or crap? <laughs> is this is this uh, no cap uh, for real? Cap or crap? Right. On yeah. God, that shit is bussin'. Think, hold on, I got a question. Do you think you could get away with pissing yourself in public if you just pointed to your crotch? Your insane crotch and said, ah, I just lost the game. <laughs> what? You know, some people are like, what are you talking about? You'd be like, you know, the game. Where you like oh, yeah. try to pretend, wow. you know, try to fool them into thinking that's what the game was. This yeah, it really yeah. is a mid 2000s throwback. Oh, I, I was thinking that maybe like you just invoke the game and everyone maybe. with it, everyone and, yeah, within and they it, don't notice you pissed yeah. yourself anymore. Yeah, yeah, maybe. Maybe. Everyone within a 10 meter radius is like, oh like, man, I just like lost the game. See, they don't even they notice see you pissed your yourself. Piece, no, no, they see your piece <laughs> out thing, but you're pointing at it and they're thinking, maybe he doesn't notice. Maybe he hasn't. Like, why? Why is he pointing? He's talking about the game now, and then yeah. you maybe try to draw attention away, like. It's like no big deal. It's like, oh, oh I came man. in like this. You just didn't notice. Also, I messed. I, I just lost the game. When uh, <laughs> this becomes the new fashion trend, you mm. know that there's been like pre-stressed jeans. Do you think there'll oh. be pre-pissed jeans? Oh man! Oh, shit, dude, you might be on yeah. some piss-washed jeans. <laughs> like, <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> they got. <laughs> Fuck. Oh yeah, you're, you don't, idea. you're not supposed to put these with your other laundry. You're supposed to wash <laughs> these and piss separately. Oh, yeah. okay. you, it's a, there's like like <laughs> next to the space where you put your detergent in your washer. There's like a little space where you pee in it. Okay. Yeah. Oh and my yeah. god. Yeah, well, yeah, you don't want the rest of your clothes to smell like piss. Yeah, yeah. That'd be I mean, ridiculous. Yeah. I'm gonna lose it. I'm gonna lose it. <laughs> it's amazing. I got more people than me and Blake Tester, and this has immediately gone off the rails. <laughs> yeah. Matt's, I mean, this is not word, dying. and I've just been laughing this whole time with the idea of this. Exactly. this I mean. One fan. Like, it leads to my favorite question that I got from Jake and Amir of uh, what, what to ask. Like, if I'm going with my wife to the mall or just to buy me some clothes and she hands me something and I get to whip out, is it pee proof or dry clean only? And yeah. <laughs> she goes, what the hell does that mean? <laughs> and I'm like, it means what it means. Is it pee proof or dry clean only? Oh my god. <laughs> what does that mean? What does that it. mean? I get it. <laughs> I don't get it. Like, she's handing me a shirt, and I'm like, no, but is the shirt pee-proof, or is it dry clean only? Right. What this doesn't Zach explain said anything. You said that to her. Yeah, she's not happy. You know those, like, t plungers and other bathroom kind of stuff where it's, like, waterproof? But what's the mm. word? Like, hydro something? Hydrophobic, yeah. Hydrophobic, yeah. They should make clothes out of hydrophobic stuff so that when I pee on it, you know, the pee just runs <laughs> off. I mean, I've okay, seen they are, like, like the sprays you can pee. do. The pee gets all over you then instead. No, it bounces off at equal velocity right. as it came in, like yeah. a mirror. It's, re it's like a reflective surface. surface. It's like, yeah, it's reflecting the pee elsewhere. Now, can I put the hydrophobic stuff on my leg so that, and on my suit as well? So I'll, that do, I'll do I you one better. You yeah, do like, it on it your legs? It forms an yeah. infinite 
Here's it's what one you of those do. Infinite motion thing where it has to bounce back and forth between the two. No, no, no. Forever. Check this out. Check this out. I'm gonna make this one better. Spray some on your elbows. Spray some on the top of your head and on your pant legs and your shoes, and then you can do like kind of like a, a hacky sack thing with your pee. <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> or, you know, we could sell this to, like, Copper Tone or whatever. Mm -hmm. You know, like Whoever. sunscreen. The <laughs> pee proof, you can just, like, you know, wipe it down on your body. And then when you jump in the pool, you know, all the pee in the pool just parts like your Moses in the Red Sea. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh -huh. Hey, everyone. Welcome to the Insetic Piss Cast. <laughs> yeah. Piss kit. Yeah. Is this how oh, you guys so were able to three piss three around background. three corners of your apartment in college? What? Was that was that a reference you guys had, or was we, that we didn't hear what you said? Yeah. Oh, is this how you guys were able to piss around three corners of your oh, apartment yeah. while in college? Yeah, usually. I mean, sometimes Connor would like bounce for me, but yeah, right. He would you know because I'd pee into the hall. Surfaces. Uh -huh. Yeah, I I'd, I'd pee into the hall. I'd be like, hey man, can you get this for me? He'd be like, yeah, sure. Hold, I, I, okay, I'm right here. And then I'd like, pee position. into the hallway, and then he would just like handle the rest. Right. right. I assume it went into the toilet at the end of that. I mean, I wasn't checking. We tried, I, tr I know, trusted but... him to do it. Yeah. I mean, come on. We already had the power to bend pee around three different corners. You know, yeah. it was that was it, entirely it, it, unrelated. It, it, yeah, it was a just a, it was a bonus if we actually got it into the toilet or not. Yeah. Yeah. You know. I mean, it, it was it was worth the inconvenience of it maybe getting in like the sink. Yeah. Or something. Yeah, the sink's fine too. Sink, shower, wherever. Just a hole in the ground. Uh huh. I know of your quest, mysterious stranger. Your snowboarding friends have followed the dark path to a place I like to call... Wiener Geddon, the horrific end of day's action playset that provides hours of apocalyptic fun. Included are action figures that, like your friends, are soulless pawns stripped of all free will. Here's J-Dog. I joined a boy band. Hunter. Rainbows and unicorns. La, 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 la. Sebastian. I joined a country club. And everyone's favorite little snow surfer, Wiener Boy. He will not leave your fiery house, storm of terror, but all who do not serve him. That's quite a crew, but isn't there someone missing? Why, yes, it's you! <laughs> Talk about a hot new sensation. Wiener Geddon takes Wienerland into a whole new realm. The Nether Realm. This may sting a little. Look, it's a barbecue. He will spare no one. That's right, not even you. Yes, it's the end of the snowboarding world as you know it, and you're definitely not going to feel fine. Run away! To save your crew, you must find Joe Runch and defeat each of them. Now return to the mountain. I will send my three santitos to help prepare you. Away with you in your pagan eyes! It steals my soul, pervert. Magic circles, do you dare? Make me love it, make me stare. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, so there's Jesus. gonna just like be a lot going on in these cutscenes and such, but... Sorry, for now, here's kind of an interesting thing. This is like the only time they really make you do this, but like... You need to find and do specific types of challenges oh. know, now. So it's not just like, get 3,000 respect. You have to find two Magic Circles challenges. And it just so happens there are two Magic Circles challenges that are available to you. Oh, boy. Woo. So. Yeehaw. I'm, yeah. I'm glad I planned ahead and remembered where they were so that I didn't have to search the whole map again. Thank you, oh my Deep God. Car Car. That was I just wanted sick. to, yeah, I just wanted to shout out our boy Sand Deep Car Car again, because he Who's was that? also, in, uh, he was. Um, That's one we haven't gotten that one yet. That's one of the loading screens. I uh, oh, yeah. but I'm bringing him up specifically because uh, in Amped Two, you guys saw his name and pointed mm. it, pointed it out when oh, you, you were watching the credits. Yeah, I remember mm. when I played this game for the first time back in like 2016 i was like oh my god they gave our boy sandeep karkar his own loading screen yeah that's our boy yeah. that's our boy yeah i didn't remember that that's kind of interesting yeah. i hope he's doing well yeah i wonder i wonder what he's up to now do you think he's secretly working on ant 4 no he is yeah oh man i was just talking to him yesterday. oh hey this challenge I'm yeah. just kidding, I wasn't talking to him. Yeah, I guess I should say that I've beaten this game twice. Uh, the first time was uh, six, six years ago now. Yeah. Uh, Dang. Early, oh. early 2016. 
Uh, and the second time was uh, two days ago. So yeah. I'm uh, I'm holding off on the spoilers for now. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. I really like that they they took the the time to re redo the aesthetic of going through rings. I I'm gonna be yeah. real. Can I I I don't I don't like this aesthetic room. <laughs> yeah, I'm not a huge I'm fan, not a of, big all fan the of the aesthetic oh. stuff. Yeah. Okay, so I want to wrap back around to these leaderboards um, because we had sort of a discussion of like, wow, there's like nobody on these leaderboards. Is that maybe? Just your friends list? No, because I know for sure that like none of those five names, aside from me, are on my friends list. And in fact, you can specifically hit Y to show only you and any of the people oh. on your friends list who have also done it. So does that mean that literally only six people have ever gotten gold on that challenge while signed into Xbox Live? I'm guessing it's probably like the most recent. Um, it varies. Times. It does vary. Some, I, it, I just don't know. It varies, like, sometimes there'll be, like, 26 people. I think it's, like, a live leaderboard of, like, people who have gotten it in. I don't know if that quick. <laughs> yeah, jumped the gap, yeah. Yeah. Uh, but, like, maybe it's, like, people who have completed the challenge within, like, the month or something. Yeah, something like that. Because this was a launch clear. title. Like... Yeah. This this was a game that was out when there was a like the smallest possible Xbox 360 library. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. there probably was a lot of people playing this game. Mm. Mm. Yeah, because probably the most recent people. Zuby. We're seeing like a lot of the same people. Zuby crushing it. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Impress me with jumps and tricks and rails. I won't like it if you fail. The font they chose did not have an apostrophe, so yeah, it, said it was just a one question, question mark. mark T. <laughs> it's weird to me that they didn't have an apostrophe but did have a question mark. Do you think that was maybe something they just left in for the silliness factor? No. For the bit? Yeah. For, for the, the bit. funny joke? Yeah. Bob? I don't yeah. think anybody anything about cares. jokes. I mean, like, they obviously cared a lot about the aesthetic of these cutscenes or whatever, but, like, I think the... It was probably a really quick thing. Somebody did it in one go, and if there was a misspelling, they just went, eh. I might dare say they might have cared a bit too much about the aesthetic of these cutscenes. No, they definitely care They definitely care a lot because, like, like, yeah. like a cu I don't know if it was last video or the video before, but there was, like, a whole thing, like a running gag where it was all, like, anime. Yeah. Oh yeah, God. Yeah, that was they put yeah, a lot and like, of effort. And then they it. and then they just dropped that aesthetic completely after. Yeah, no. They, after that mountain, they juggle the aesthetics in this game. Yeah, so he, uh, this one is like all puppets and stuff. Um, yeah. And I guess the guy with the yeah. magic guy. This is a weird. I don't know. The poster. Now it's the senorita and her three uh, Charlie Brown Santitos. shirt wearing. Yeah, motherfuckers. motherfuckers. The Angels Charlies. Yeah, the oh. Angels Charlie. Oh. It's like Attorney's General. I can't tell. Yeah. yeah. Um, I have no Same idea. Man. I. It's uh, actually in the game. Also, I just wanted to say I keep forgetting to mention this. There's a Salomon store near me. Oh. And I don't really know. I didn't think they had storefronts. And I mean, it's they especially so like people. Oklahoma. Yeah, it's so people I mean, can shred up all those Oklahoma mountains well, that are right Salomon next to the Oklahoma also desert. Does, does like mountain biking. Yeah, uh, in Oklahoma. Oklahoma yeah. is known for their yeah. recreational biking in the middle of the city. Yeah, that's where the most mountains are. Dude, we don't even have sidewalks. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's why it's mountain biking. It's, you have to dodge all the cars. Look, right. We're lucky people... to have roads. It's it's for people who want to do all that sandboarding in the Oklahoma desert. Yeah. Right. yeah after after the nuke, we're lucky to have people in Oklahoma. Oh my God! There yeah. should be a sandboarding video game. You just ran that man over. There was there was a sandboarding like shockwave flash game on Mini Clip back in the day. By the way, rip Mini Clip. Uh, yeah. If you guys didn't hear yeah. that news. What about but, uh, what about if they now made a movie uh, a game based on the movie Sahara? Whoa. Uh, That'd be sick. Reference. Yeah, isn't that Steve Zahn? Who hasn't? I haven't seen him in anything in a long, long time. 
Remember when like sand movies were just like a thing? Like you oh, had the yeah. mummy after, after movies the mummy. in the early 2000s. You had Sahara. You had Hidalgo. Yeah. Uh, you had Australia. Yeah. Yeah. Kangaroo I mean, Jack. Yeah. Kangaroo, Kangaroo Jack. Jack. How could I forget Kangaroo Jack? My favorite yeah. fucking movie of all do time. Do you think if we petition, do not like, don't like, don't read? Do you think they will do Kangaroos to Jack? Oh man. <laughs> Please. Well, well, I don't know why we need to petition them. Yeah. We could just ask I just them. mean like we get enough signatures. Yes. Yeah. Oh yeah. Snow quest. Snow quest. Snow quest, snow quest, score to win. If it's love, it ain't no sin. Okay, thank you. Positive message. <laughs> we really got a bad take in there. They were like, uh, no, uh, erase. That I think, was fun. I, I like think that. once more, that's just part of the bit. I mean, I was thinking maybe he was trying to think of a rhyme, but what he came up with didn't Glue. sound that. Yeah, that would sucked. Yeah, it's there's definitely like a intentionally feels half-assed kind of thing to yeah. the angels doing their whole thing. I I will go to bat for a good seventy five percent of this game's humor. Uh, really? Wow. Yeah, uh, I don't know. I think from this what game's... I've seen, I'd go for maybe thirty to fifty. I I think the an I oh, when I replayed sick. the game, I skipped all the anime bits. Okay, uh, so then... Whoa, and, well, we're also only like 30 to 50% of the way through the game, so... Yeah, maybe, yeah. I mean, maybe it's possible the back half is gonna fucking break me. But, like, <laughs> if it's I mean, written by the same people, I'm gonna guess about 50% of this will make me smile. I'll hold my tongue. Okay, it all pretty much makes me smile. Most of it yeah. doesn't make me laugh, though. Yeah, like I, I wasn't like busting a gut laughing. My, I don't think I made a noise while playing the game, but I, in my head, I was thinking, yeah, yeah. Okay, this is one of those things that's 100 percent just my old age kicking in. If I was like 12, I wouldn't have laughed my fucking ass off. Yeah, because you know when you're 12, a video game intentionally half-assing stuff is like new. Yeah, I get I've called 12 all the time. By I mean, all Skylar, the best media so. comes out when you're 12. That's yeah, because yeah. it's all like new, but like now it's just not that funny to me anymore. Yeah, I like, uh, there's that image that I love so much where it's like an independent panel of arbiters have decided that the peak of all culture occurred right. when you specifically were 12. Right, yeah. right. Like That's for so me, true. that that is true, genuinely true. That was yeah, 2005 absolutely. for me. That was Halo 2, Xbox Live. I'll, I've said it a million times, I'll say it again. There hasn't been, for me, an experience quite like that. Yeah. Everyone yeah. is playing it. You could do so many different things. I mean, like, I wasn't even on Xbox Live, but the Halo games and Linkin Park. I'm like, yeah, yeah I don't yeah. really get Linkin much Park, more than that. They're Tool, Dragon uh, Force. Yeah, I'm done. Me, it was like 2007 with COD 4 and shit. Like, that's that's You that's, see, that's, when that's I was 12, for me. the PS4 was out. Yeah. Oh my god. You can't do this to me! <laughs> You're not- shut up! You're, I'm not old! I mean, Matt, you're dead. <laughs> no! I'm sorry you had to fight him, out this way. What that the was fuck? the sound of him dying. Like, that was yeah. him ascending to heaven. No! His whole life was a wily e. Coyote bit, where like, yeah. as, like, as soon as he acknowledged or learned the fact that he was dead, mm -hmm. he ascended. Hey, what's up, guys? Matt's ghost here. Uh, yeah, I found his yeah. body in front of the computer. He still got his mic on. He's still recording. I don't know what happened. Yeah, to him. I can just see. But uh, yeah, I'm a spooky ghost now. Uh, like you know, cool. you know the, the 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 goof of like you, the person's asleep and everybody in the dream is telling him to wake up and they're not quite getting it. I, I feel like that's Matt's life, and people are just coming up to him and being like, "No, Matt, you're dead. <laughs> You've been yeah, dead exactly. for years." Like, like it's not even subtle. It's just yeah. like. Dude, you have I'm like, to I'm go like to at heaven. the store and I'm like, uh, all right, how much is this going to be? The cashier's like, Matt, you've been dead for years. And I'm like, okay, all right, but you uh, didn't how much buy is this? anything, you died. <laughs> okay, that's nice. Um, am I just allowed to leave? They're like, no, you still have to. You, you have to leave money. this mortal coil. You're going to heaven, son. Also, that'll be 1307. Yeah, also, also that'll yeah. be 1306. <laughs> Inflation in heaven is crazy. Dude, it's nuts up there. I know, I'm dead. Yeah. I've been dead for yeah. years. None of this is real. Well, it's you real. have won a hay bale. <laughs> I'm what? How does it feel to be the winner of a hay bale? I mean, oh, feels good. I mean, when I mean when we were in Kansas, that was like what we were given yeah. for lunch at school. 
Right. <laughs> I remember, <laughs> yeah, if you, uh, horses? you know, if you looked yeah. in the, you know, lunchroom or kind of the back early on in the day, the lunch lady would wheel in the bale of hay, <laughs> hay yeah. and, uh, you know, cut the <laughs> strings and it would just unfurl. And know? everybody would just rush in. If we were lucky, we got apples, but then we had to make sure to eat it off our own flat palms, otherwise we might bite ourselves. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Is that why you guys are bronies? <laughs> yeah. Is it true that My Little Pony was filmed on location in your hometown? Uh, no, but very close. Very close. Very close by. Oh, we, a neighbor, we a knew people. Suburb. We knew people who went to the school that was in the district that they filmed it. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah. So it wasn't like our home, you know. It was kind of like a high school rivalry thing, and I was I was in the marching band, so yeah, sometimes I I got to go over there. But were you were you, you know, a part of the uh, the Mustangs, which was your sports team? Oh, I have a great home. Come on, man, that's racist. Yeah, that's disgusting. Wow. Why would you say that? I'm sorry. Come on, man. I was thinking of the we were the Clyde Mustangs. <laughs> yeah. Speaking of racism, though. Mm -hmm. My favorite. Yeah, there's yeah. no way that could uh, go so <laughs> dude. <laughs> oh my god. Huzzah, huzzah. You passed our tests. Now complete the rest of the quest. Find, Find an old friend to help you to crest the mountain. mountain. Hooray. Hey. That, that means go over the mountain, stupid. <gasps> you can't say that. <laughs> okay, that got a chuckle out of me. <sighs> that ending part got one single chuckle out of me. Yeah, they come through in the end. Yeah. Sure. I just had to endure the entire rest of it first. All right. Yeah. Oh, okay, so... Uh, Tell your I, story. You said yeah, you had a story. Yeah, story. This, this oh. isn't my story. This is my dad's story from um, when he Get played your dad school. in here. Yeah. yeah. Uh, dad. I want your I dad on the video. Uh, make him tell the story. That, that would require a lot more explanation, I think. But um, You only played, have five minutes. He played uh, high school football, and he, he had this story of... Um, it's a football town, like a small-ass football town but a football town nonetheless where like high school football is like the biggest sport so yeah. he he had the story of um so his team was playing their crosstown rivals because of course despite the fact this was a town of like 5000 farmhands they had two high school football teams uh so like it's a crosstown rivalry big homecoming game and it's like 15 minutes before kickoff and the other team hasn't shown up yet to the stadium and so they're they're doing like the pre-game festivities already like i think like the like as the hometown players are like running out to like the stadium and like the fans are like all cheering for them uh uh like they're introducing the players by name and the other team shows up with a police escort like sirens blaring like oh, interrupting the oh. whole thing and they just walk onto the stadium. Eh. And I'd say uh, that's the story. Okay. That's the story? Yeah. Great story, right guys? Well, that's oh. Good, yeah. oh. I'm sorry I encouraged you to tell that story. Ooh. Why did I just tell that story small again? Town I don't know. Just oh, because yeah, we were talking about crosstown rivalries. Yeah. Sorry, I wasn't listening at all. Can you yeah. tell the story? Small. No, it's cool. <laughs> small town. Uh, <laughs> small town Southern U.S. football. Hey, high school around. football is unreal. It's yeah, yeah it doesn't really exist. unreal. <laughs> yeah. I've seen Friday Night Lights. Yeah. Try going faster. Fuck you, Devin Walsh. Try going faster. Sorry, I got a little heated there. Yeah. yeah. Was that a heat? Was that a heated gamer moment? Oh man. Not quite. Remember, I guess remember so. when people said that phrase? It was like a lukewarm oh. gamer moment. Yeah. When did people Oh, it. that was from PewDiePie, right? Yeah. He said that first when he when uh, he decided had that to, incident. Yeah. <laughs> I to be heated. Incident. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. He gamer moment, mm -hmm. yes. I remember that. How long ago? It's a good was explanation. That? I think that was also that like had to have been a very long time ago because he was playing uh the win a winner chick or dinner game. Winner, was, yeah, winner was that, chicken dinner game. What's that? Uh, Battle, Pug Battlegrounds. Yeah. 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 Pub, yeah. So he was Pug playing PUBG, so that had to be like five years ago by now because nobody's played PUBG since Fortnite came out. Yeah. And you're going to be like, I'm playing it right now. No, you're not. You're not I mean, you might be playing it, but you should look on. You've, I've probably already won. There's nobody else playing with it. <laughs> yeah. Actually, they apparently added bots. Forsooth! Like, every added bots. 
Really? Hunt Showdown doesn't yeah. have them yet. Okay. Well, okay. Hunt Showdown I mean, has fair. a maximum of like six people. <laughs> or 12 more people games, in the entire thing. More games should have bots. And I'm glad more games are getting bots. Guy who has only played Hunt Showdown playing his second ever game. Hmm. Getting a lot of yeah, Hunt Showdown this vibes. Isn't Hunt Showdown at all. Vibes. What the fuck? This is nothing like Hunt Showdown. <laughs> okay. I, well, I've got I've got one more question. Before the yeah. end of the video, because we were talking about cartoon characters earlier, yeah. right? And uh -huh. so, like, you all know the Flintstones. Fred mm -hmm. Flintstone, he says, you know, yabba dabba do. But am I the only one who remembers? I swear to God, that wasn't his catchphrase. Instead, he would say yabba baba booey. Am I the only one? Yes. Now he definitely said that. What he the definitely the never said that. Okay. talking about. The yabba the yabba baba booey. And that's go, why everyone's baba saying that nowadays. Yeah. The, the Yabba Dabba Doo thing came much later in the Flintstones lore and started out saying Yabba Dabba Doo. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, is that it? The okay. reason we all remember Yabba Dabba Doo so well is because they really only shared the later episodes more than the early ones. Yeah, it's one of those mm. things where they like never showed the first season after Yeah, the, so, yeah. but you're correct. He definitely said Baba Booey. All right, yeah. Yabba Baba Booey. Yabba Baba Booey. Bye bye, baby. Yabba That's Baba what Booey. he would say. Yeah. Yabba yeah, bye, baby. He would say uh, <laughs> bye bye, man. <laughs> Yeah, he'd say, don't, don't say it don't. and don't I, think it. That's why he stopped saying it. That's why they didn't show the first season because he was like a serial killer killing a bunch of people. It don't became a real problem. It. True crime. Don't think it. It was a real problem with other people watching the show saying and thinking bye bye man and then that's the whole thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm glad, by the way, I'm glad we solved that Bye Bye Man problem so we can talk about it yeah. openly on the Incentive channel. Say it and right. think it. You right. can go ahead and say it and think it now. You can say it right. and think it. Guys, I think there's something behind me. No, don't um, worry. They made a documentary about how that movie, or sorry, how that character, no, sorry, how that killer <laughs> uh, got stopped. It's called yeah. Bye Bye Man. And yeah, also, okay. originally the title was Bye Bye Man. Right. <laughs> we'll see you later, nerds. <laughs> yeah. Tune in next in week to watch more Insetic 47, asshole. <laughs> Idiot. Next the time, original one. we're still here at Chile. We're going to get really down to the conspiracy and all the stuff that's going on. So join us Shit. then.